Hello everybody, welcome to the county seat. This week we have a very complicated issue, centrally assessed taxes. Now, a lot of you at home have no idea what we're talking about, but it's very important to you as a taxpayer, to your county government, and to the many services that you count on within the county. Centrally assessed taxes are an issue because they are companies and organizations whose assets lie beyond the borders of just one county. And finding a way to value, tax, and distribute that money is fairly difficult. Here with a story on how it all works is Terry Wood. You know, if you own a home in Utah, you're going to get one of these in your mailbox every year. This is your property tax assessment. Your property tax is set by the county assessor, and it's based on the value of comparable homes around the area. But what if you disagree with that? What if you could just call up the county and tell them what you think your property is worth and pay taxes based on that? Well, that's essentially what some big businesses in Utah do. State tax assessors realize there aren't many easy comparisons to make when you evaluate a utilities company or a mining operation. These are some of the most complex properties you'll ever imagine. Uh, the complexity to value a large multinational property is as hard for the state tax commission as it is for Wall Street to value. I mean, these are very hard properties. So a lot of big businesses are given the responsibility of reporting their own value. They can base that value on the potential asking price if the business went up for sale, on the income that business makes, or its stock value. Then the tax dollars it pays are divvied up between the state, cities, and county governments to fund services. That determines whether, you know, what, what roads get paved, what roads get plowed, how many, uh, how many deputies the, the sheriff may hire. So it impacts all of us uh, in one way or another. If a business operates solely in Millard County, of course, the percentage of revenues dedicated to county government would stay right there in Millard County. But you know, it gets a little complicated when businesses span several counties. There's about five sets of tracks here, and this train will go through at least 10 Utah counties. Businesses can run all across the state, and every county impacted by that business wants a piece of the tax dollar pie. In an attempt to make it fair, Utah created a system called centrally assessed taxes. The state determines what percentage of the business operates in a given county, then forwards the tax values based on that percentage to the counties. We take you know, the constitutional mandate very serious that you know, all property unless exempt is to be valued at its fair market value. But not everybody thinks it's fair. For example, most of the state's salt is mined in Tooele County, but processed elsewhere. So who should get the lion's share of the tax dollars? Same with gravel. Much of it comes from Tooele County to be processed into asphalt outside Tooele County limits. If you look at it closely, the legal cost accrued by the county will ultimately rest on the backs of the average homeowners. Their taxes will likely go up. Those costs, of course, you know, are shared by our our taxpayers across the board, so the cost for litigating the centrally assessed appeals um, is shared by all of those involved. And in some cases, those costs have been very significant. On the other hand, if big business loses an appeal, it can offset legal costs by raising rates. And that's another burden to homeowners. Somebody's gonna win, somebody's gonna lose. And unfortunately, under our system, the loser is often the average Utah taxpayer. For the county seat, I'm Terry Wood. Thank you, Terry. Of course, Terry's job is just beginning because now you understand what centrally assessed taxes are. We have the issue of how do you go about appealing them and how many of them are challenged. And that's a whole different bailiwick that we will cover when we come back on the county seat. Picture yourself in Logan, Utah. We do winter right.
If you look up epic in the dictionary, it's defined as heroic, majestic, or impressively great. Here in Kane County, Utah, we don't need a dictionary to tell us that. We live it every day. Stop reading about life and start experiencing it in Kane County. ATV adventures, Jeep excursions, hike a world where the Old West was yesterday and tomorrow is just over the horizon. Kane County, Utah, where epic is more than just a word, it's our way of life. How would you spend an extra day in Utah Valley? day. Visit utahvalley.com to make reservations. Utah Valley, bring everyone together. The State of Utah School and Institutional Trust Lands Administration. CITLA manages 3.5 million acres in Utah lands with the express purpose of furthering the education of Utah students while promoting local industry, oil and gas, even residential development, all at the same time. Through the careful use of trust lands, we distributed more than $22 million to Utah schools last year. The State of Utah School and Institutional Trust Lands Administration, building the state's permanent school fund.